While we wait for another update on a bold new camera announcement for 2024, let's take a look at the top 10 camera sales at the fourth largest Japanese camera retailer, Yodobashi. One camera company dominates the top 10 like we've never seen before. Stick around after this short message for all the details. But first, subscribe to stay up to date on the latest camera news. And for all the minor news stories, all those news stories not quite big enough to have their own separate video, follow me on X, formerly known as Twitter. If you've been following the Yodobashi Top 10, it's not really a surprise that Sony's been dominating either the Top 3, the Top 5, or the Top 10. But this time around, they absolutely dominate like, well, I've never seen before. In first place, we have the A7C II. Body alone, and this camera's been doing very well since it started shipping. It's been dominating the number one position at Yodobashi, followed in second place by a kit version of the A7 IV. Now, in third place, we have the kit version of the A7C II. Now, you might be wondering, well, hold on a minute here. If we have the A7C II in first place, and we also have it in third place with a kit version, this is really kind of the same camera. And, well, it is. But you see, Yodobashi reports the top 10 camera SKUs, and the, the, that little differentiation means that we're going to see body alone and kit as separate numbers. And what that kind of does, it kind of cheats us out of, well, the true reflection of the top 10. So instead of getting 10 cameras in the top 10, we're down to 9, and shortly we'll be down to 8. And if you were wondering if the A7C4 body alone was in fourth place, you'd be wrong. It's a different Sony. It's the Sony a7R5, a camera that was announced back in November of 2022. It's done quite well, along with a Canon EOS R6 Mark II, which was also announced back in November, one day after the Sony. And um, that's four Sonys, if you've been counting, four Sonys in the top 10. In fifth place, again, it's another Sony. And this is five Sonys in a row. It's the Sony a7 IV. That's right, the Sony a7 IV. Body alone, that's five Sonys in the top 10, and I've never seen this before, whether, whether it's be Canon, Panasonic, Nikon, or Sony, to actually dominate one, two, three, four, and fifth place in the top 10. It, they, they're absolutely crushing it. Sony's been doing very well at Yodobashi, and I don't know... See, it used to be that I, I looked at Yodobashi as the type of retailer that was... Most of the stuff that showed up in their top 10 was kind of the high-end stuff, the Canon EOS R3, the R5, the Nikon Z9, the Nikon Z8, the Sony A7 R5, Alpha 1, that kind of stuff. But in the last six months, it's kind of changed, at least what they're selling. I don't know what's coming into their store, if, if there's shortages that are affecting numbers, but what we're seeing is Sony is definitely dominating here, dominating like no other camera company that has in the past. Nikon has two cameras in the top 10, and we have the Nikon Z8 showing up in sixth place. It's no surprise here. I consider this to be the best camera of 2023. Nikon did a great job with this camera. And when you look at the Nikon Z8 and the Nikon Z9, the Nikon Z8 is truly a mini version of the Nikon Z9. Now, the Nikon Z9, yes, is for people who want the fastest of the fastest of the best of the best with dual CF Express cards and so on. But that Nikon Z8, at that price point of just under $4,000, is a terrific camera. And following up in seventh place, we have the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. This camera was announced back in November of 2022 and has done quite well throughout the world. It's done well at Yodobashi. Sometimes it's near the top 10, sometimes it's in the bottom five, and sometimes it doesn't show up at all. Uh, we're not sure if that's because of supply shortages because Canon has been, well, having trouble meeting the demand of their customers. So we don't know how much Canon's lack of participation in the top 10 is related to the lack of production or the lack of demand. Now, for eighth place, we have the last Nikon camera, the Nikon ZFC kit package, followed by the Fuji X-T5. It's been months since we've seen the Fuji X-T5 in the top 10, so Fuji's back. We don't have any Panasonics. And in 10th place, we actually have our second Canon camera, and that's the Canon EOS R50. Now, this is a camera that I think is terrific. It's a camera that if I was to buy a camera today and I didn't have this YouTube channel, I would seriously look at this camera. Well, I would also look at the R7 and the R10 and maybe lead toward the R7 as being the camera I'd really want. I can't help but look at the, the R50 and just see the absolute value in this camera. It's a terrific camera. But it's Sunday here. We're getting ready to go into a bit of a deep freeze. Nothing that's really kind of out of 
the norm for where I live in Ontario for, well, the latter half of January. It's the coldest time of year, but we're going to drop down to minus 16, minus 17, minus 20 for the nighttime temperatures and highs of around minus 10. Now that's seasonably cold, but um, not all that bad. I've seen minus 27 and minus 40, but this is definitely seasonally cold and I'm kind of looking forward to it. It's a little bit sunny outside today. I'm hoping the sun holds out so I can take out my 200 to 800 millimeter and start shooting some wildlife because when you've had a fresh bit of snow and it's got that, that crystalline look to it, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks fresh and that in and that with wildlife, some maybe some turtle doves, maybe a few cardinals, if they happen to appear, it would just produce some incredible footage as well as some incredible stills. But I'm gonna to try to keep this video short. If you're interested in purchasing any of the camera gear that I've talked about in this video, a lot of the cameras that I've talked about are on sale right now. Last week, the Canon EOS R6 Mark II was on sale and it's on sale right now. So go ahead, uh, if you're interested in purchasing these from BH, Adorama, or Amazon.com, then please consider using these affiliate links down below as it really does help this channel grow. I get anywhere from two to 12% back and really goes to help supporting this channel. Purchasing gear such as the upcoming Canon EOS R5 Mark II, the Canon EOS R1, and hopefully that RF 35 millimeter F1.2 if it does come out. So there's lots to get. I'm really looking forward to an exciting leak. I expect somebody to tease or announce something this week. It's Sunday already, and you're probably watching this on Monday, maybe Tuesday if big news already came out on Monday. Um, but that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to this channel. It really does help this channel grow. But have yourself a great week and we'll see you again soon.